sake, turn it off! Turn it off! Okay, hold on, hold on. This is a Jeep owner's video. Now, if you have an older Jeep that has high idle problems, like most of us do, then I'm going to show you how to fix it for free. It won't cost you a single dollar to fix your high idle problem for free. So before you waste money on new sensors, before you waste money on a new throttle body, just give me a few minutes, all right? So on that note, let's get to the video. Let's go, let's uh, go. You see the pictures I paint, son. Yeah. If I ain't the king of New York, then it ain't one. What's up, YouTube? So just a quick video. This is for Jeep guys because the high idle is a really big problem on the older Jeeps, especially the Renix models, which are 87 through 90. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I fix the high idle, just in case. I know there's a lot of videos on high idle, but I'm gonna tell you, sometimes that stuff doesn't work. But if you've tried those and it didn't work, this is the guaranteed way to fix your idle. So this is the throttle body. This one is out for demonstration purposes, right? So whenever you have a high idle situation, first thing they're going to tell you to do, first thing you should check is this sensor right here. This is your idle, your idle air control valve, right? Your IAC. So basically what this does when the boot is on here and it brings in, it regulates the air at idle. It's what it's supposed to do. So they get all gummed up and, and terrible. So you can clean those with brake cleaner, things like that. But sometimes after you do it you'll still get the high idle right it's not consistent sometimes it'll stop for a couple of days then it'll come back so some other guys will tell you check this this is your throttle position sensor it's connected to the lever i don't know if you can see it right there it's connected to the lever and this is it now to fix this to adjust this properly you would need a multimeter and you can just plug the multimeter in turn the switch on and get your readings and adjust it properly but I did all of that like I did all of that and it worked fine for a couple of days and I still was having problems with it so this is what I did that guaranteed work for me I've not had problems since so I figured I'll share it with you guys you see this right here this is your stop right for your throttle see that right there now what you can do is you can use I guess some needle nose or some grips and try to turn this in some see what you're trying to do right so this controls how much air is getting by now although the tolerance seems really small right you don't see really anything around there basically what happens is just by bringing this in a little bit it closes it a little bit more so it's restricting that air just a little bit more and it actually brings the idle down now on mine I couldn't turn this right so what I ended up doing I took a grinder and I shaved it down little by little don't go too far you don't want it to close all the way because it's gonna cut off so you just want to bring it in just a little like shave it off just a little bit and this will keep closing just a little bit more and it'll bring it down to where your Cherokee sounds nice and tame because this one was revving up to about 3,000 RPM just as soon as I started it needle would just shoot up to like 3,000 so everything I did would bring it down to about 1100 even when I adjusted this even when I changed this on here it brought it down to about 1100 but I still felt that was a little high so this is what I did to get it where I want now let me show you guys where we are now I know this guy's gonna be like, oh, that's crazy, but watch. Listen, listen, trust me. Watch. Hold on, let me go inside. See how beautiful that is? Look at it. Nice and civilized. Hear that idle? No shaking, nothing. Nice and civilized. Just by adjusting this. Mode is not starving at all. Now I'm gonna show you something when I get inside. Hold on. Okay. So you see where we're idling now? 
Okay, so let me put it in gear. See, it's not hurting anything. It's not choking, it's not cutting off. I can move, it's no problem. See that? It's gonna work, guys. I'm telling you, if you tried the other things and it does not work, try that. But please, do it little by little. Don't, wait, let's do it again, let me show you. Wait a minute, YouTube, so I have an idling right now so I can do a hot start for you guys so you'll see that it'll work hot or cold, it'll still be consistent. But I know a lot of guys are gonna ask me, like, how does that work that way by closing it up? Aren't you restricting it? So let me do my best to try to explain. If I hold this to the light, you guys can see the gap of light coming around and it's not consistent all the way around because these things are made out of aluminum. So I think what happens is with age, just wear and tear and it's not sealing like it's supposed to and I think that's why we're getting inconsistent idles. So by actually closing it down a little bit, you're actually sealing it a little better than where the factory set it because after however many years you've been driving your Jeep, this all starts to wear down. Now my Jeep is a 1990, so you know, it's definitely been around the block. So I think that's what's happening. I think as you're closing this gap, as you, as you, as you uh, shave this down, Little by little, I'm gonna keep telling you until you get the idol where you want. I have the idol where I want, and you see it, nice and smooth. But until you get the idol where you want, bring it down little by little. If you can't, twist it in. And then, um, and that's it. And I think that by doing that, it closes it. Now this should work on Wranglers, Comanches, the newer Cherokees, anything that's having problems. If the sensors aren't working, before you spend your money on a new throttle body, try this fix. Now, it's been running for a while, so let me go and give it another start so we can see. Hold on. All right, hold on. Cut it off. Consistent every time all right youtube so on that note i'll catch you guys on the next one